Hello and welcome to the Zoom F8 overview video. Here we will discuss all of the features of this brand new recorder. On the front of the F8 you can see all eight input controls. Each input is equipped with an LED peak meter, gain control, and pre or post fader select options. There's also a main menu knob to navigate through each screen, a mic and frequency slate option, headphone out control, and transport controls. The F8 has eight TRS combo inputs with Neutrik locking connectors. The preamps of the F8 have an extremely low noise floor of negative 127 dBU EIN with up to 75 decibels of gain. The TRS portion of the inputs are rated at plus 4 dB for professional line level input. There is also a 4-pin Hiroshi connector for using an external 9 to 16 volt DC power supplies. Once this power supply is drained, the F8 will switch to the internal battery pack. The USB port is used for data transfer and updating the firmware. The F8 can also be used as an 8-in, 4-out audio interface. The F8 provides two SD card slots which can accommodate cards up to 512 gigabytes. Recordings can be made simultaneously to both cards. The F8 also has a quarter inch headphone output, eighth inch sub output, and two TA3 mini XLR outputs for connecting to outboard gear. Included in the F8 packaging are two mini to full size XLR cables for connecting the F8 to speakers or a mixer. The back of the F8 has two BNC connections for syncing time code. The F8's timecode is accurate to 0.2 ppm. The F8 can also be powered by eight AA batteries or the Zoom AD19 12 volt AC adapter. On the back panel there is also a connection so you can use all of your H-series mic capsules. The capsule will default to inputs 1 and 2. The main screen of the F8 displays each input, its pan control and fader control. There is also an indicator for limiter and phantom power. At the top of the screen, you can see your record time as well as time code. There is also an indicator for battery life. The bottom of the screen displays your file name and take number. There is also an indicator for the main left-right volume level. The F8 has a full color LCD screen which is customizable so you can easily monitor specific inputs and outputs. Within the menu of the F8, you can access all of the recorder's settings. Enter the Finder window to access all of your recordings and takes. All of the file's metadata will be stored here as well. Both BWF and IXML are compatible. Within the input window, you can set up your high-pass filter, input limiter, invert your phase, or set phantom power to tracks. There is also an option for plug-in power, input delay, stereo link mode, and pre- and post-fader settings. In the output menu, you can set the settings for your headphones, turn certain outputs on or off, adjust the level of your output, and set up the output delay. There's also an output limiter and settings for main and sub-out routing. All inputs can be routed pre- or post-fader to any of the outputs. The record window allows you to set up what type of files you want to record, as well as your sample rate. The F8 can record polywave, stereo and mono wave, or MP3. Each SD card can be set to record in a different format. The F8 can record up to 192K 24-bit audio. MP3 formats can record up to 320 kilobits per second. Dual channel record mode allows you to duplicate the first four inputs of the F8, allowing you to record them at a lower decibel level. This can help to prevent any clipping you might experience while recording. The pre-record function allows up to 6 seconds of pre-recorded audio. This makes sure you will never miss the perfect take. You can also change the max file size and adjust your take settings. Within the menu you can also change the way your recorder will playback files, set up time code, adjust slate mic and slate tone options, and make system changes. You can also set up your SD card and USB options. Also available as a free download is the F8 Control app. This allows you to control the F8 from your Generation 5 iPhone, iPad, 
or iPod Touch using Bluetooth. This will allow you to monitor input levels, current time code, and battery life. You can also rename files, enter metadata, and set up the date and time. Thank you for watching our Zoom F8 video. For more information and updates, please visit our website at zoom-na.com.